Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. It is example 5 of conjugate beam method where a simply supported beam AB of length L is subjected to a uniform varying load of maximum intensity W unit per length. We will determine its slope at point A and B this is theta A and theta B and also find a deflection at mid span at x equal to L by 2. So let's start. First you find out this Ra and Rb. Summation of Ra plus Rb will be equal to the area of this triangle which is half into L into W. Take moment about point A equals to 0. So Rb into L will be equals to this force half into L into W into the CG distance. The CG distance will be here. This distance will be 12 by 3. So into 12 by 3. W L square by 3. So Rb will equal to WL by 3. So Ra w l by 6 now find out the moment equation of this beam at any distance say x what will be this ordinate it is w it is l so it will be w by l into x from similar triangle this and this triangle are similar moment at distance x the equation will be r a into x minus this area of the triangle half into x into height is w by l into x in the cg distance from this point it will be x by 3 so put the value of r a so the moment equation is So you see this is in cubic equation, the moment diagram will be like this. You can find out where this point is at the distance. But it is not necessary in our case. But if you want to determine this distance, make the shear force which is V equal to dm dx equate this to 0. Then you can find out the x. It will be x equal to L by root 3. So we got our moment diagram and uh, it will be sagging moment positive. So in our conjugate beam, the loading will be downward. For a simply supported beam, the conjugate beam is also simply supported beam because the hinge support remains hinge in the conjugate beam. So draw the loading. It is the M by EI diagram. It will be the loading like this. In the moment equation, let us write down Y is the equation of this curve. Now this RA plus RB will be this total loading, which is nothing but the area under the curve. So let us first take a section at X distance like this and calculate its area and siege distance. So area will be integration 0 to x y dx. Now calculate the CG distance. Let the CG distance of this area is x bar. So it will be A into x bar will be equal to 0 to x. x into y dx.
Now we have got the equation of the area and also the CG distance x bar. Now total area will be from 0 to L. So put the value of x equal to L here you will get So we have got the value of A total area and the value of AX bar for this total curve. So we have got RA plus RB equal to the area which is WL cube by 24. Now find out RA and RB. Take moment about A. So you get RB into L equal to this total area into the CG distance which is X bar from this. So RB into L equal to A into X bar which is WL4 by 45. So RB you get WL cube by 45. So from this RA will be WL cube by 24 minus WL cube by 45. Seven by three sixty W L Q. As you know that the for M by E I diagram the reaction R E and R B will be the slope of the slope of the actual beam. So in our case the slope at A that is theta A will be seven W L cube by three sixty E I theta B will be W L cube by 45 EI. Now it's time to determine the deflection of the beam. So let's try to find out the deflection at any distance x from the left side. So at this point the moment value will be equal to the deflection of the actual beam. So for this we have to determine this is a CG. So write down the moment. Moment at distance x will be R A into x minus area of this portion let's write down it is a and this distance this is x this is x bar so area into x minus x bar put the value of r a which is 7 w l cube by 360 to x minus a into x minus x bar minus a x a is W L X square by 12 minus W X to the power 4 by 24 L into X plus A X bar. A X bar we find out earlier which is W L X cube by 18 minus W X to the power 5 by 30 L. So it is the moment equation. Solve this. So this is the moment equation. Put the value of x equal to L by 2 to get the deflection. So moment at x equal to L by 2. Put the value of x here equal to L by 2. So you get
so the deflection its span of the beam will be equal to 5 w l to the power 4 by 768 ei downward hope you like this video give a thumbs up share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you happy learning